special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Riptide, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Simonis that I, Darkness Falls mod. So my game just crashed, or my computer just crashed again, so I'm starting to worry now. A while back it crashed, a month later it crashed again while I was doing Wiz UK, and now two weeks later it crashed again, so... It's starting to crash more frequently, but apparently if it's a hardware thing, the PC won't start normally afterwards, so it must be a software or... Uh, I don't know, there's an update perhaps that's gone wrong, or driver that's wrong, so I need to figure this out, because my PC is going to take some damage. Also, I want to make it a little bit more challenging in game. I'm not going to do anything over here, but I'm going to do more zombies alive at a time. I'm going to go for max animals alive at a time. And then I want to, I'm thinking of doing day speed, uh, day speed jog, night speed run, and then feral speed sprint. So it's just a little, just to make the game a little bit more challenging, a little bit more, just keep it nice and fresh. But yeah, now let's do this. I'm just hoping it doesn't crash again because that just sucked. I was just showing off the farm, the progress that we've done. Um, as you guys know, last episode, I left you guys off with the farm uh, like where we placed all the dirt. Um, I then went and I tilled all the dirt and guys, it took forever. I didn't even take a video of doing it because it's just, it's the same thing over and over and over again. You literally you click, you have to wait, 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 click, wait, wait, for every single block of dirt that we placed. I accidentally also just placed the um, irrigation pump thing, I think the wrong way around. So I'm hoping it's still going to work because it's touching the pipes. But yeah, I think I might just have to fix this because I think I messed up. I have my task manager open next to OBS now to see if something is wrong. So as soon as the game, or if the game crashes again, uh, then we'll know there's something wrong. Because perhaps you guys that know PCs might be able to help me. I have a main monitor, and then a big screen TV as my second monitor where I can have my recording software open, um, live stream chat, all that stuff. Now the games keep on going non-responsive, okay. Anyways, um, yeah. And every time I click on the right side, the big screen, all of a sudden everything just slows down, lags. Uh, OBS has even said uh, it is overloading, the encoder is overloading, just all of a sudden. It never happened before, now all of a sudden that's starting to happen. Also, when the uh, the second screen goes off or on, all the desktop icon icons get thrown over the screen. The grids are locked, all that stuff. The themes, um, being able to change icons, I disabled. But still, all the icons are jumping over the screen. Every time I uh, log onto my PC, I have to rearrange my uh, icons, and that sucks. Now, I think it might be the same problem as to where I, if I click on the second screen, the encoder overloads on your OBS and just it's, it seems like this system is taking a massive strain all of a sudden. And I have no idea what's causing this. That and the fact that my PC is crashing, I'm actually kind of worried at the moment. Just everything let load in. Okay, everything should be loaded in. Now, as you guys can see over here, we have our water system over here. This is going to be pipes going on. Guys, I know this is too close to the farm. Basically, this water is going to get sucked up by this, but that's why I actually put three of these barrels over here. And I think this pump should have been the other way around. Because I think the pipe needs to be at the back, but I'm hoping that's not the case. We already put the T's over here. And, oh wow, these didn't even take. I put a T here, and I put a T here. And now these disappeared. That is so messed up. I even, I was busy placing a T over here. I wanted to show you guys that if I want to go up, you can just turn this thing upwards. And it can uh, send water to the second floor, uh, floor as well. That's weird. On the recording I just did, uh, the recording's still there because I'm recording an FLV now. I definitely placed these down. All of a sudden, the progress has been lost. Okay, we're going to place these away then. What I'm going to do is we're going to do this. So this way we'll be able to send water throughout the whole farm. Which means for now, basically, we can use this whole side as a farm. I want to see if we can't at least do this one side over here. We do have super corn. We have it in the mortar and pestle downstairs. Also, guys, I'm going to be try. I'm going to try and be way more chill and stuff when I record. Um, <laughs> you guys might have noticed that sometimes I speak way too fast, especially if I get into a little, uh, the roll of things. If I get the hang of it, all of a sudden I speak. So blah, 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 blah. I, sometimes I trip over my own words. So I'm going to be trying to see if I can't speak a little bit slower. Uh, I can't promise anything. But yeah, uh, me even also talking about something and then all of a sudden it just slips my mind. It happens way too much, uh, way too often these days. And I know that, that gets annoying fast. Like I'd be talking about something and then all of a sudden my brain just wanders. I'm like, oh no, I forgot what I wanted to say. Um, that's either a stress thing. I just hope it's not like a mental thing. Like I, I don't have something seriously wrong with me. 
But yeah, I'm going to try and speak softer, slower. My problem is I'm way too strict with myself. I want to get way too much done. I feel like even with seven episodes a week per mod, so it's 14 episodes a week, that I'm not getting enough done. And obviously that's the wrong view to take because I'm getting quite a bit done. Most people only record like three or so episodes a week and some record seven, but only seven. I do 14 and I try and do streams and stuff. So I know that that can actually get way too much. And especially since I'm doing so many playthroughs, talking too fast, thinking too much, just overdoing it. Um, that, that's actually messing with my gameplay as well right now. So I'm going to be trying my best to just slow down, just take a breather, just do it right. And hopefully you guys enjoy the series a bit more from now on. Also guys, uh, this row over here is going to be farm plot. Technically this farm is uh, wrongly designed. Um, this is going to be a pipe and it gives three uh, wide water. Over here there needs to be one, two, three, four, five rows of dirt and then water again. So at the moment this is actually very inefficient. Although I'm hoping that since there's going to be a, uh, one of these irrigation pipes going through here, this pipe is going to give this stuff water instead of this taking water from over here. It needs to be at least like three, four blocks away so that the farmland over here doesn't take any water. But it took me forever to till the ground over here. I didn't even record it because it was just too monotonous to do the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, I need to make sure we use the, uh, the iron hoe when we harvest these plants over here. I should probably see if I can't put a chest or something here. Okay, if I can put a chest here, we'll be able to just drop all our stuff in the chest. I'm wondering if we can put stuff on top of this. If I can put my chest on top of this thing, I'm just hoping it's not going to the wrong rotation right now, guys. If the pipe has to be attached to the backside of here, then I messed up badly. I might just also have to extend those walls up a bit because it seems like the water wants to climb over the wall right now. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put away the pipes and stuff for now then. Um, yeah, let's just put it over here. In about 15 minutes, these are going to be done. Then we should be able to finish the whole farm. And then we just have to wait for stuff to finish. Okay, we have steel left. How much iron do we have? Not enough, right? We need so much steel right now as well. Let me just go see what kind of damage they do again to the horde base. I almost forgot. It's been so long ago. I also need to repair these doors because they took some serious, serious damage. Oh, also, uh, in Ways UK, I tried a defense where the zombies hop on these blocks and these blocks and there's only stairs in the middle. And it worked so much better for the pathing. The zombies barely did any damage to the pathing. Okay, we still need to put turrets. Okay, the turrets are on top. Did I put anything inside? No. Did we connect them at all as well? I want to make sure for the next horde we have everything in place. I don't think there's a generator over here, so we're going to have to go fetch one. But you guys, I always feel like, even with seven episodes a week, even with me editing uh, long drives out and get, trying to get more into an episode, that I'm not, just not doing enough. And that's the wrong mentality. I'm pushing myself too much, and that's why my brain's over... Just overflowing with like crap and stuff so i'm gonna be trying to just take it uh, more relaxed and hopefully you guys do enjoy the series a bit more uh i don't want to uh, have you guys say oh this this doesn't feel nice or uh, you're complaining too much or you're doing this too much or i want to make sure you guys enjoy the series okay so this is locked i love the fact that these stay locked in ways uk it sucked that every single time we had to go and fix that okay what did i need the concrete for again Huh. I have so many concrete... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm making concrete blocks because I want to make another horde defense, right? Where am I going to put the horde defense, though? I either want to make myself a horde base from scratch, but the problem is this is titanium. This is a perfect thing. I think with this kind of concrete, you can go on the inside of this place and just make sure you fill it all the way up with concrete. That way, there's less chance of the zombies actually breaking through and doing stuff. I think while we wait for that corn to grow, let's just go and have some fun. Um, I could probably do normal corn as well, but I think super corn gives you more, right? I think super, uh, if I could go and make a whole super corn farm, we'll definitely get more. But I want to start doing, I also invested a point in quail crafting. We need to make ourselves quail batteries. So we need lead, electrical parts, scrap polymers. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, I think it's the bottom, nope. Oh, vehicle parts, the bottom. So we need scrap polymers. We need electrical parts. See, now I'm using all of these, so we won't be able to use it later. Um, and we need lead. Ooh, I don't know if we actually have any lead at all. Yeah, very, very little. And I also want to make bullet tips and stuff like that as well. So I'm going to have to see if I can't get some iron or some uh, veins of lead. 
we could probably buy from the from the traders as well. We just need way more cash. And also, I want to save the cash for being able to buy other stuff. So it makes it hard. You want to buy resources. You want to buy those uh, mastery books. There's so much you want to buy, but you just can't afford to. Okay, so coil battery. I'll put 24 in this one and 23 in the other one. And that's going to be times 50. So that's about 1,000 each. So there should be enough space over here. It's nice that it actually says in brackets over here 50, uh, times 50 now that you know. Yeah, why? Oh, did I just do that? Oh, I just did it in the same table. No? Oh, okay, so this one's... Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a long pole, right? Remember that I thought I was actually uh, still crafting teas. I was like, no, 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 we don't need teas right now. Okay, so yeah, we do need electrical parts. Oh, wow, that's the first thing we ran out of. That's kind of surprising. Okay, so if we go for electrical parts... <laughs> you need lead... Okay, um... Forged iron duct tape, not that bad. Insulator, what do you uh, require to make an insulator? Mm, not that bad. We can actually do this. Especially if you had the right bench. Iron, sand, and clay. So if we can make it that way around, we do have quite a bit of forge, right? And that's all steel. Oh yeah, I used up all the forge for the poles. So I'm going to have to make more of that. So I'm going to use half of this then to make myself some more forge. Because we're going to need this to be able to make ourselves more electrical parts and stuff. Uh, we can make one nineteen each. By the time we come back, this will be done, so I'll just leave this in here. We don't even have to use the other glasses, because, I mean, it's gonna be done anyways. Okay, and then the rest of this we just put away for now, then. Building supplies and resources. Okay, cool. I was about to say, why is that stuff in there? Now, uh, do we have any quests that I can do in the area of here? Nurse you back to health. Oh yeah, we only had one uh, trader. I should probably start doing other quests as well. It's a shame that there's no Anna in this town of here. Because then I'd actually go and live there in a heartbeat. I need to see if we can't find... Oh, research from hell. So that's the wasteland. If we can find another Anna, then we'll be able to go and live there in a, in a bigger town. This is all the way to that side. The map is actually very small. This is the very small map anyways. So this is all wasteland to the bottom, which means... Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any other towns. There might be one in this direction over here, over the hills. But I don't know. Let's just see how, what kind of town is there. Because that's the only uh, place on the map that it might actually still be space. And that's kind of worrisome. Okay, food, water, doing well. Bike, kind of doing okay. I want to make sure we have enough gas so we can just get there and back as well. We also need to be careful of wandering hordes and all that goodness. We're going to go that way. Oh uh, yeah, we want to make sure that there's no wandering hordes coming for us while we're not looking. Especially since we're getting those mutated spiders these days, so we have to be really, really careful. Guys, to think, my voice is actually a little bit um, deeper than it usually sounds. When I speak soft, I speak uh, just uh, relaxed, just quietly. My voice is deeper, but when I uh, speak fast, then all of a sudden that's where the problem arrives. Sorry. I'm still looking for the 1k uh, NPCs. The ones with the 1k HP, because then you know they're traders. I can't believe the only ever trader we passed, I didn't even realize was a trader. If I knew them, we actually would have been able to buy from it. I'm actually thinking of uh, increasing like the airdrops and stuff, but that might be overkill. If I could do a series where we're playing insane difficulty, all that stuff, like hardcore, but also make like an airdrop a day or something like that. I think that might also be fun. Because that also you have to uh, weigh, do you go for that airdrop or not? Because it might be uh, useful, but, you don't, but it has to be like a dead is dead series. Like you die, you stay dead, you don't come back to life. Or imagine you die, you delete all your stuff. You start from scratch with new tools and everything. Yeah, okay, this is going to go, I think, to a snow biome. I just need to make sure that we don't accidentally drive into the wasteland. I don't know how, uh, where it extends to, so we might accidentally drive into the wrong side right now. But I need a town that's nice and big, that has an Anna and everything. That's It's going to be nice living there. Ooh, trader to the left. So this is the trader then. I wonder if there's another way to find Anna. I doubt it. If we can find another Anna, that might have actually helped us. Hello, hello, hello. The best merchandise. Let me just quickly steal from you over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
there's a slight artifacting on my screen as well and i need to figure out what's causing that it's i think it's the textures i don't know if you guys can see it. it's like faint uh white lines every now and then okay Ooh. has 50 percent chance to uh a cold proc to all weapons i wonder if i should put on a knife but i think the knife already has the fire so i don't think it's gonna take the cold okay what do you have for us Lucky Ludo Goggles, we're already wearing that, so we don't need it. I also don't want to level too fast. Oh, this is a new trader. I should probably take all these turrets on the wall. I keep forgetting about those. And we need to see about the generator, because I want to make sure that we have a generator going as well. Before the next horde, we have to make sure our base has a generator, has turrets going. We want to be able to deal with the vultures on the roof without having to go down. Or without having to look up, so that we can just focus on the zombies in front of us. Yeah, there's turrets on the wall of here. Do we have any stone? Do you have any stone? I know I could just go outside and uh, look for it, but especially since I made the zombies a little bit faster now, I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. Come back and tell your friends. I wonder if it's a... No, that's just a zombie chasing something. I was about to say, I wonder if there's a wandering horde outside, because I just saw that dude running. Nah, uh, they're just random zombies. When I saw him running just now, I thought he might actually be um, part of a wandering horde. Yeah, yeah, I should probably go kill you quickly. Do we have a silencer on this gun? Yes, we do. I almost forgot about the silencer. Okay, they dropped loot. I should probably every now and then check that we make, uh, should we get the best stuff. I also want to go, should probably range these vehicles now. Be, uh, I want to make sure we start um, hoarding a little bit more as well. You never know when you're going to need this stuff later, so it's better to just hoard it. You know, you have it and then voila. Also, now that we have all titanium, I'm getting all of these great axes and stuff. I'm like, oh, awesome. We can oh, no, we can't use it. I get my hopes up and then I realize we already have titanium. We don't need it. Also, guys, I wonder if I shouldn't start a corn farm as well. Um, a super corn is going to give us way more, obviously. But we do have corn. There's corn all over here. So as long as I just keep grabbing corn, we will have a corn farm be uh, before long. If I wait too long, I'm just afraid that it's going to end up uh, costing us. Because now we have to wait for all that super corn to grow and it might not grow fast enough. With the zombies now being faster and being more on the map, we have to be, be way, way more careful. There's constantly going to be zombies trying to kill us over here. Hello. There's many of these guys walking around. Damn. Also, guys, I have installed Donovan's loot bag timer. Um, I'm hoping I installed it right and it's not clashing with the game or anything. But, um, yeah, after Horde Night, we should now be able to grab all our stuff. Uh, or rather, we should be able to clear out a screen or two and then grab our stuff without worrying about losing out. But every time so far after Horde Night, we've had a few boxes disappear on us, uh, or a few loot bags, and that sucks. Especially if you waste a ton of ammo clearing out a Horde, you don't want to lose uh, resources just because it despawned. I'm actually hoping for a wandering horde, but it'll wreck this place. Hello, piggy, piggy, piggy. I should probably go outside because there's loot bags over there as well. Not just the uh, those animals' corpse. I need to do that from the start. We can pick it up, but it's just better to just go and break it immediately. You don't have to worry about it later. Okay, now we just have to pick up all of these turrets. Of, whoops, see it easy. We're gonna have to pick up all of these turrets over here quickly. Because we can sell them quite a nice uh, penny. So I want to see. The trader's that side. I should be able, if I go right in the middle of here, I should be able to pick up most of the turrets on this one side. So let's go land claim. How far away does it have to be? Still red, still red, still red, still red. Once. Okay, so can I pick up this? Oh, I can't. It would be cool if you could pick up the generator as well, not just the turrets. I'm hearing, I'm hearing zombies over here, but I don't know what kind of damage or why they're doing damage over here. Come on. Jump up and then forward. Sometimes you move forward accidentally before you jump, and that ends up stopping or breaking your jump. I wonder if I should live in the, uh, the snow biome. With the weather and stuff, it's going to make living there way, way harder. Okay, it's not reaching over here. I should be able to pick this one up? No, okay. So yeah, all of these on this side now is uh, picked up thanks to the fact that our 
claim is just just before the trader. For those of you who don't know, you can actually pick these up with your land claim because of the fact that, remember, you can't put a claim inside the trader, even if you can break the trader. Because the trader has like a personal uh, land claim around him. So that's why it has to be that far out. But, come on. As long as you don't uh, don't make the perimeter go over him, you can actually place this down and voila, you're set. Now when you're done, just remember to do this, otherwise you have way too many claims on the map. I saw a wolf, yeah, I want to say I saw a wolf mark on the side. Man, I love this knife. Still have to go into the, the sword skills and everything. Oh. Wait, was there a wolf ward over here? Wolf pack. I haven't seen one of those in forever. Now all of a sudden there's a wolf pack right here. But guys, I'm just trying to see if we can't find another Anna. Um, obviously we have a whole base now where we are. <laughs> Technically, I should just stay where I am and just go loot and do quests in the city uh, next door. But if I can actually start anew with a new Anna and just do everything right from the start, the way I want to design it, it might just work really, really well. Hello, Wolfie. I have to make sure that I aim it just right. We don't want to accidentally go and hit ourselves. There's so many animals walking around. Nice. Okay, how big is this town and do you have an Anna? It looks like it might be pretty big. Bigger than ours, actually. But see, look at this. There's a corn farm over here. So if I just grab all of this stuff, we'll be able to make ourselves a normal corn farm as well. But I do know super corn gives you more. I think what I should do, we're going to grab normal corn, uh, corn, make a farm. I need to make sure that I split the super corn and normal corn um, properly. It, it should grow and look differently anyways. I'm going to split them. And then as soon as we have more super corn, we'll start replacing the normal corn with super, uh, super corn. That way, at least now we'll have some grab polymers soon and we don't have to wait for it to just finish hello my man oh wow 800 hp damn yeah this was a wolf no i think it, i said wolf pack but it's just we haven't been in this area yet and since there's now 300 zombies and 100 animals alive at a time it's definitely making more way 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 more zombies and animals and stuff Ooh, is there a bookstore over here? Uh, let's go straight through. If I go to the right, we might actually enter the rigid, uh, residential area. But for now, if I can get a bookstore or two, and just get all those notes, start making myself the... Uh... Oh, that's going to have demons inside. But yeah, if I start making myself some stuff, just one sec. Yeah, I apologize for that, guys. I thought I had my phone on silent, but I clearly did not. Someone's trying to phone me now, and when I answer, they just hang up. And they keep phoning me over and over and over again. So I'm just going to let it ring now. I have my... Si now it's completely silenced. I love it. It's really, really important. But I mean, I answered. I said hello. And then there's no response on the other side. So I am not going to respond. Thank you. I'm looking for a bookstore though. But where can I find one? This is a bookstore. This is a bookstore. Thank you. Remember guys, we're going to start getting more demons and stuff soon as well. So we need to be careful. I need the books. Apparently, guys, there's a block that I can just... There's a value that I can um, uh, tweak. And it's going to take that away. It's supposed to look like a normal block. But for some reason, it's not a normal block. So it's a broken texture or something like that. Hello, lady. Oh. Way too eager to meet me, I say. Oh, wow. Mutated. Mutated, mutated, mutated. Oh, stamina. Oh, that was bad. My stamina was out just now. Can you tell me there's a wandering horde right now? Where did you guys come from? Are you just in the vicinity and you just all of a sudden saw me now? What the hell? I should probably put my turret down as well to help out right now. Oh, there is a wandering horde. I think. Let me just get some coffee. We don't have coffee. This is a wandering horde right now, so I need to be careful. I'm gonna be careful of the octopi. The mutated spiders. I can jump on the wall over here and be safe. I should probably. The only thing that's gonna kill me now is a cop or explosion from a demon. Okay, what's wrong with this horde? 
They're all ferals, all fast. The HP is getting up there as well. Oh, they're sprinting now because they're feral. That's why. Remember I said now all ferals sprint. And nighttime zombies run. It used to be uh, ferals uh, run, but now they sprint. That makes a big difference. Damn. I'm going to have to make sure that no zombies pass me. Yep. Okay, so this is also from the Wandering Horde just now. Yeah, there's quite a few Wandering Zombies that passed by over here, but not enough for me to actually actively go and look for them. If they come for me, I'll take them out, but if they don't come for me, I'll just leave them alone. There's no point in going out of my way and then possibly dying just because I want to take one or two zombies with me. Oh, wow. I looked all around me, didn't see her, and then she was behind me. Okay, I do need to be careful now because the, I am losing HP. My stamina is super, super low. Okay, let me just start looting over here. Although we are kind of full. Oh, I didn't take everything from the trader. All the, I didn't take all the turrets. I need to go back there. I'll probably do this while we're looting as well to make sure that I actually have space to work with. I usually just grab and then go. But, yeah, our, our space is a little bit limited right now. So I'll just... Also, if I scrap it now, I don't have to worry later. I'm just hoping we get so many books that the scrapping can't keep up. That would be awesome. Usually, if you're lucky, you get about 100 notes from this place. It's, uh, you get three per, right? Yeah. You get like, a you get like 30 or so schematics, but you get like 100 plus um, notes, and that's if you're lucky. Sometimes you get super lucky and you get way, way more than that, and that's awesome. It does look like some, oh, yeah, we already have steel tools. Remember that? I thought, oh, no. Um, it looks like this place has already taken some damage, though. Also, guys, the steel tools, uh, we do have a skill that allows us to craft it under labor class, so there's no point in wasting those skills right now. I'll rather scrap them for the notes that we need, or I'll then go and read them over and over again for no reason. Even that bow. The compound bow, we already know how to make. Or well, we don't even need it, so... I think yeah, that, that one's one of the bugs that's in the game. Um, it constantly, doesn't matter how many times you read it, you're basically just wasting notes. Just scrap it, you already know it. I don't know why it's always like that. Um, I'll have to speak or ask Kane about that. I'm gonna be careful. I want to make sure that I don't turn my back and then all of a sudden get hit in the back. I think I already cleared this place mostly. There's still going to be a dog on the top and some zombies in the... But we do have a, we have a shotgun. I'm going to go guns blazing. We only have 100 shots left though. I need to make sure we don't waste too much ammo. I just need to go and just uh, wail on them. Just shoot them up and then we should be good to go. Empty, 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 empty. There might be... Yeah, there's definitely going to be zombies at the back. What I'm more interested in now is the zombie that's still going to be over here by the counter. But there's usually one or two or three zombies, so we need to be careful of them. The bathroom should be clear by now as well, but I should probably check it. The radiated zombie and the other, or not radiated, the mutated dude came from over here, and then I think there was another one as well. Nice, the amount of notes we're getting right now is awesome. One, 174 already, damn. I'm using power attacks, and if you miss, that's a massive waste of stamina. If you actually manage to hit them, that's awesome, but if you miss, that's where the problem comes in. Okay, I think the Wandering Horde, yep, still in the area over here. So we need to be careful, there might be some more ferals and other dudes over there as well. Now I want to focus more on just getting this place done. If the zombies come for us, we'll uh, gladly deal with them. But if they don't come for us, there's no point in game for them. Hello? Are you behind the door here? Okay, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna have to shoot you with a turret or shoot you with a shotgun. Damn, I'm wasting ammo going for these guys. I should probably just put my turret down. The turret would just do just as good a job for me. Well, we also do need resources. Um, even though we kind of have a base done and ready and everything, I want to make sure that we never have a shortage. If I want to make more resources or whatever, then we know we are set and good to go. Also, I want to do this. Every little bit of scrap polymer is going to help, especially since we don't have our farm and everything ready yet. Oh, hello, hello, hello. About 200 notes and there's more on the roof, so that was awesome just now. Oh well. Hello, hello, hello. That just freaked me out. Where did you guys come from? Uh... 
Wait, where did they come from just now? From the roof, it seems. Yeah, oh no, it's from over here. I thought they were breaking through the room over there. That's why I was like, oh no, 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 no. They just have the turret helpers out of here. It's way easier with the turret helping and we don't have to worry about ammo too much as well. Especially with only 100 rounds left. We can't afford to waste ammo right now. It's definitely the wandering war that passed by over here. They're being a real nuisance right now. Okay, so I want to open this up. And this one around. Oh, it is day 35 as well, I just realized. So the horde is going to be next. I need to get back to the base then and make sure we are ready for this horde night. I need to also put, uh, put the generator bank up because I don't have that up yet. Okay, so this we can lockpick or we can break it. That's going to take too long to break. I should probably lockpick it because it's uh, just going to be faster as well. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It, the texture's been bugging out when I'm uh, lockpicking um, recently, so I wonder what's the deal with that? There you go. Come on, come on, come on. I need you to hurry up because it is getting late. Well, it's the day of the horde, but I still need to get back to the base and get stuff done. I want to still grab all the other turrets by the trader as well. The more schematics we can find right now, the better, uh, better too, because we need to get as many as possible. In order to make sure that we are just set to be able to make our own master books. I do want to master the scientist and I want to master the mechanic as soon as possible. If we can master the scientist, we'll be able to make ourselves the military tablet. And if we master the mechanic one, we'll be able to make new vehicles and we'll be able to make our own gas. So there's a ton of stuff to look forward to if we can actually craft our own stuff. Maybe be careful. They seem to be inside, so they can come from any direction right now. Okay, let's see, let's see. There's a dude over here. Hello, hello, hello. We need to make sure we get those headshots in. Whoopsie. I'm missing too many headshots right now. That's actually costing us way, way, way too much. Oh yeah, this was I thought this was the other bookstore with a dog and stuff on top. I just realized it's not. It's the other one. Okay, so I need to go back to the trader. I'm just going to go and grab the rest of those turrets then. There might be more bookstores in this town. Uh, we should actually come back as soon as possible. I also do want to see if we can find a an Anna over here. It looks like the town goes way to that side over there. If we can find an Anna and also perhaps move here, that'll be cool. Although I am quite happy with where we are currently, so we don't really have to move. Let me just go back to the trade over here. I want to make sure we take those turrets with us. I also, guys, I guess I'm going to see. Um, next episode, I think, is going to be the Horde. If we have everything ready, I'm just really going to make a generator and connect them. Um, and then, yeah, the, we can kill the uh, vultures with the turrets. And then hopefully we don't get too many demons and stuff right now. If we get too many demons, we might actually have a little bit of a problem on our hands. I'm trying to see if I can find an Anna as we go. But yeah, guys, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Comment, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.